What is going on everybody and welcome back to another gameplay video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic Wednesday. If you have not already, please do make sure you go check out our Pokemon series. We had a new episode go up today. We're taking on Team Rocket and it's going well so far. But today we are trying out another combo deck. If you missed yesterday's video, uh, allow me to fill you in. Essentially, we lost a lot uh but it was really fun it was a, an experimental overload deck uh did not have high hopes for it to begin with but it was really really fun and i wanted to keep on the combo train this week uh for some reason that's just caught my fancy uh and so today uh i found this deck and i really like this deck i did not create it i don't remember who did i apologize but uh it was a fellow youtuber if you look it up on aether hub it is john nexus combo i believe uh, and it's a it's a pretty tried and true deck you'll notice we don't have a whole lot in terms of new strixhaven stuff other than the field trip uh which does allow us to play quite a bit of uh, awesome lessons in our sideboard here uh but the main combo is this it's pretty straightforward we get a mask wood nexus down this turns all of our creatures in our deck into every creature type including god then with the world tree we activate that final ability after we've got a ton of lands on the battlefield and get all gods from our deck and put them onto the field now because of this mask wood nexus that's everything so that means we get Terror of the Peaks, we get the Clackbridge Troll, we've got Massacre Worm, we've got Beanstalk Giant, and we have a Solemn Simulacrum. That combination of creatures, ideally between the Terror of the Peaks and the Troll uh, with the Massacre Worm being able to kill all the zero ones, that should finish off the opponent exactly uh, without any issues. That's the that's the goal. Uh, now, that doesn't always work, but we do have quite a bit of ramp to help us get there. We also have quite a bit of removal. Uh, including some proactive stuff like duress, which is really curious to me because a lot of times you wouldn't normally see this uh, given that, you know, against a creature deck, it's not going to be great. Um, but I have found in playtesting, usually it finds a target, uh, which is great. Uh, it does have, it struggles a bit against like the adventure decks and stuff, but overall it's pretty good. We do have the Thirst Heartless Act. Uh, we have got Binding of the Old Gods, all ways to deal with the opponent's stuff. And that's it. It's a bunch of ramp, a bunch of removal, and some big old things. And we're going to try and win with it. Have no idea how well it's going to go. My hope is we can at least get one combo uh, off uh, so you guys can really see what it's meant to do. Uh, it is actually really fun. I, in in playtesting, I've done like five or six games. I've gotten it off like twice. Uh, and it's been really fun, actually. It's, it's silly. It's meant to be a silly deck, so don't expect a ton of wins if you do try this one out. Um, this hand is not great, to be honest. Uh, however, it does give us... Uh, it gives us some good stuff, so maybe we should try. Let's try. Uh, this is not a great hand, to be brutally honest, but we are going to give it a shot. Looks like the Death Touch list, uh, which is a bit scary, but we will see what we can do. Uh, I have high hopes, guys. I have very high hopes. I talked about in that Pokemon video as well as we're getting started in this game that I, uh, I got a new guitar recently and it's on the way and I'm really stoked about it. Uh, if anybody out there plays guitar or plays any instrument, really, uh, let me know in the comments section what you play and what kind of music you're into. I'm a very big music lover uh, and so I would be very, very curious to see what you guys have to say here. Not really drawing too much great stuff. It'd be great to hit a removal spell to get rid of Finn. We do have Binding of the Old Gods that we'll be able to play on turn four, but that's not great, to be honest. Uh, ideally, this deck would like to play it uh, or, or do a little better than that. Um, there's the Blood Chief's Thirst, actually, so that's pretty helpful in this case. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and get rid of Finn. That just saves our butt a little bit. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, they don't have a follow-up fin, in which case we're just going to die. Um, but you know what? It's okay. We're here to have fun today, guys. We are not stressing. I hope that you guys enjoy these. These are uh, really fun little just chill episodes, to be honest. And I like that. I like that a lot. I am in a binding here. Uh, this just protects us against an incoming fin if they happen to have one. Um... So otherwise we would have just lost to the, the fin triggers. So I like going ahead and getting rid of that Mire Trident first. Uh, there's another Nexus, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, let's pull out a forest, let's do this. And the trick here is whatever we play is probably going to die. Uh, right, like it just kind of has to. Uh, but I do think let's be mana efficient. Let's go ahead and play out the troll. 
they're probably going to allow us to draw a card here, which is great, and gain a little bit of life, which hopefully is going to help keep us alive. Uh, assuming they don't have a fin, we should be in okay shape. Um, not going to be perfect, obviously. I'm going to save this Heartless Act for an incoming fin. Uh, most likely, we will need to leave that up from here on out, uh, to be brutally honest. Wow, okay. Yep, very, very good. Uh, so we do get hit with that and that is not great for us but not the end of the world either uh so we can field trip plus uh leave up that heartless act alternate we could well we do get to move to attacks here but let's do this first uh and let's pull hmm it might just be pest summoning. Um, <laughs> so the reason being, this gives us some blockers, uh, which is quite good. The other option is honestly mascot exhibition. Maybe that's better. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, that's the trick. That is the trick. So we can't actually uh, kill the fin with Heartless Act. Uh, trying to think what we could do to get around that. Probably not much, but let's see. We do potentially get to draw a card here. Uh, it looks like we do. But, yeah, I think that's going to do it. Um, I mean, we could just destroy this, but that's not very helpful, to be honest. <laughs> uh, so given one more turn, I think we could have won. Uh, pretty close, at least. We didn't have the, the world tree, which is fine. Um, but they just actually get to attack in here. And with Finn, they do just win. Uh, so let's go ahead. We'll concede here. Well done, opponent. They just outpaced us being able to bring that fin back, uh, and we did not have a way to deal with it. Maybe what we should have done, honestly, is held on to the binding. Uh, that would have made a lot of sense, to be honest, because that's a very clean answer to fin, but it's okay. Let's give it another shot, guys. We're going to get through hopefully four-ish games. Uh, at least three, but probably four. Uh, and if we have time, we'll go for a fifth, but... Regardless, we're having a good time. We're having a chill day today. It's Wednesday, middle of the week. Got lots of stuff to do. Hopefully you guys have had a very productive week so far uh, and maybe have some fun things to do left. But uh, I'm excited this weekend. I'm hopefully hanging out with Will. Caitlin and I have a wedding to go to, uh, which is going to be a really fun time. Uh, I'm excited about that. Uh, a friend of mine is getting married from way, way back. Uh, old friend of mine. Uh, so... Gotta go celebrate, you know what I'm saying? Um, curious to see what's what's happening here. Why are we why are we just chilling? Oh, okay. I'm assuming this might be network issues on either of our ends. Okay, that was weird. Uh, interesting. Yeah, you know what? If we draw any land, we're in pretty good shape. Uh, preferably an untapped land, but. I think this is worth keeping. So yeah, I'll run this. That's totally fine. Uh, we can turn one to rest if we'd like. Uh, alternatively, we could world tree and then do it turn two. Um, I like the idea of doing it turn one, given they did mulligan. Uh, it just gets an extra card out of hand early, uh, which means they've just got less resources. So we can hopefully punish them slightly. Oh, that's great. Okay, so let's go ahead and duress here. What do we want to get out here? Uh, interesting list. Very curious about this. Uh, value three or greater. So I think the take is the predation. Cultivate is scary, honestly. Uh, just to be brutally honest, because what are they cultivating into? It's probably something like an Ugin. Uh, but that really screws with our plan if we can't get the, the Nexus down, so I'd prefer to take that. Uh, the Extinction event really doesn't do a ton against us. It's not good for us, obviously, but it's really not the end of the, the world. Uh, okay. Interesting. Uh, very curious. Very, very curious. Let's go ahead and play the World Tree. Uh, let's get that down while we don't have anything to play. It just It's a freebie. Let's go ahead and do that, uh, and we'll see. All right.
Uh, let's do this. Let's cultivate this turn. That's usually the way to go first, uh, because the lands do come into play tapped and we don't have a follow-up play anyway, so this is just a nice free kind of turn. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's see how this goes. There's the big ol' Elder Gargaroth, which is fine because we have an answer, and a nice clean one at that. Uh, can we do anything else? Let's just be safe. I don't believe so, so let's just go ahead and do this. Elder Gargaroth is a very good card, uh, very scary card, in fact, but thankfully we've got that nice clean answer. Also, we can just outpace it uh, with the Beanstalk Giant, so... I mean, we have ways to, to kind of deal with it regardless. And let's be clear, we have all of the combo pieces here. We've got the Nexus, we've got uh, the World Tree down. It's just a matter of getting enough lands, honestly, at this point. That's super helpful uh, because, again, it's just going to let us uh, do what we need to do very quickly here. Let's take the opportunity, I think, and get the Nexus down and then be able to leave up the Heartless Act. Uh, to deal with maybe the incoming Yorian or something along those lines. Worth noting, this can just spit out some, some shapeshifters. It's not ideal, it's not amazing, but it is a free kind of uh, way to deal with some stuff here. Uh, alternatively, we can also Grim Tutor next turn for, if we can get a land, we could Grim Tutor for Terror of the Peaks, uh, which isn't terrible. Uh, but I honestly think the play is just going to be to uh ramp as much as we can this turn let's go ahead and get that forest let's also get let's just get the introduction to annihilation i think that's a safe ish play uh let's get a swamp here and then we can grim tutor if we want so let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. so we are so close if we can get one more land we're actually in really good shape and we can. Uh, let's get Castle Lockdwain. This just guarantees us that next turn we can actually World Tree. Uh, and theoretically, this could work. Um, this is interesting. This could be a really cool, cool play here. If they can't deal with the Nexus, we're, uh, they might. Well, Counterspell doesn't matter. This gets around counters. All right. We're doing it. We're doing it, people. Let's see if this actually works. Uh, this is so cool. I love this little combo. It's a very, very fun one. Uh, and yeah, we do just get everything because we have the backup learn mechanics uh, in the grave or in the sideboard. All right. So this should about do it. This is this is the combo. Uh, we're gonna shoot for this every single time. All right. There we go. That's that loss. All right, guys. That is our first win. We are sitting at one and one. I love it. That is so fun to me. <laughs> All right, let's jump into a game three. Like I said, we're probably going to shoot for just four. Uh, I think that's going to be looking at our time. I think that's going to be the best idea. Uh, but man, what a fun little combo. That Nexus. Oh, such a cool card. All right. Let's see what we can do, guys. I believe in us. I believe in us. Let's do it. All right. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty good hand, actually. Um, Cultivate gonna help us get to the troll pretty quickly. The troll is honestly just an easy kind of backup plan, even if, uh, even if you don't get the, the combo off, because it, if you get it down early, man, it's just difficult to deal with. There's the Nexus as well. Uh, that's pretty cool. All right, uh, so we just take this. Looks like a value Rakdos deck. Uh, so they're gonna Mire Triton. Probably looking to hit a, uh, a, uh, oh my gosh, I can't think of the name. The big old Titan guy uh, that escapes, that discards stuff. Why am I blanking on this? Uh, anyway, oh well. Uh, so next turn, most likely we are just going to cultivate. Uh, I expect that they'll play Woe Strider this turn, um, which is solid. Gives them a sack outlet. And then next turn, they do have the Predator, which is scary. I will be honest, that is a very scary thing. Um, but we might have just drawn our answer for it. Uh, so... Comes tapped. Okay, so it's not going to get tapped yet. So let's go ahead and cultivate. Oh, no, it can actually. Ugh, that sucks. Uh, okay, let's get you and I'll get a forest as well. I'll go ahead and put the forest down. All right. 
Uh, chances are we lose this on the end of they just have more power very quickly. Um, I think this is just a much faster deck. The one thing that I don't like about this list, and I understand why, let me be very clear in saying I do understand why, uh, this deck does not run sweepers, uh, which again makes sense. You have to think about the mana cost and the things that you want to do and when you want to do them. Ideally, instead of uh, playing out a sweeper, you will be ramping or doing something like that. So I get it, but uh, it does make it slightly trickier. Uh, we do have an answer in our sideboard, though. So I think the play is going to field trip, uh, pull out the introduction to Annihilation, which gives us the answer. Get that out. Uh, this exiles the dragon, which is obviously pretty crucial. Uh, I guess we can wait on that um, to do it on their turn, and then that way, if they want to sack or want to sack it to the predator, they can do so. Um, but they're gonna have to have to do some stuff and tap it crucially uh, for that to actually work, and then we get to annihilate it. So we at most are probably looking at five damage, which is a little scary. I'm not gonna lie, but. Once they move to attacks, we Heartless Act the Woe Strider. There's the Croxa. That's what I was thinking of. I don't know why in the world I couldn't think of it. Let's go ahead and w hit that Woe Strider now. Uh, and just see what happens. Okay, they're just going to let it die. Cool, so that means no counters get put on the Predator. Uh, we do have to discard a card here. I don't care too much about the Solemn at this point. It's not doing anything. Uh, and so I think that's actually okay. There's the Mire Triton. Uh, and they do have enough to play the Croxes, let's be very clear. Okay, they're gonna hit to rest. Uh, that's fine. Excuse me, six damage. Did not count for the, uh, effect there, so that was my bad. Alright, uh... So let's go ahead and do this. Crucially, we have the troll. That doesn't work great, though. We don't really have a great way to deal with this, I'll be honest. Uh, we can deal with the one thing that is the big threat at the moment, but they still get Croxa down. Uh, we discard a Nexus, we play the troll, they just tap it, uh, and in which case we're kind of just out of luck, uh, to be honest. Discard one of these. Excuse me. Uh, okay. There's binding. Uh, but we just die. <laughs> um, so I think either way, we're just pretty dead here. Uh, but you know what? It's okay. We had a good time. Yeah, we're just dead here. Let's go ahead and concede, and let's go into our fourth and final game of this video, guys. I really enjoy this list. I think it's very fun. I would play around with it a little bit, but I really like it. Uh... I love the combo. That combo is just so fun. Uh, and it's nice to see, like, obviously it's not super consistent, but it is kind of nice to see one of these big, crazy combos, like, kind of work. It's not great, but it's pretty fun. Uh, and I think that's all you can ask for when you do this kind of thing, so that's fine. Oh, uh, hmm. You know what? Screw it. We're going to try. If we draw any land, we are okay. Uh, but a black land would be ideal, uh, for sure. This is not a good keep, by the way. So if you play this and you get this, don't keep this. This is terrible. Uh, definitely should mulligan. Like, that is 100% the correct play. But here we are. Uh, yep. Give me a black land. Okay, that's a land. So that's helpful, because that just means we now have the turn three plays that we need, which is good. We can get a black source with the cultivate, so we're we're fine. And there's a black source right now, actually. Uh, I'm just gonna do this. Let's do this. Uh, we'll pull two black sources, actually. We'll throw one of them out. Uh, we are against Grixis here, it looks like. Wow, no. Is this five color? Oh, is this Tabalt's Trickery? This is Tabalt's Trickery, isn't it? This is such a dumb... Yep, here it is. Such a dumb deck. I hate this deck. <laughs> this is so silly. All right, there's a Tabalt's Trickery. <laughs> they whiffed. Yes, they whiffed. All right, so Duress is going to be great uh, here. 
So we're definitely going to do that. Uh, just to make sure that they can't do anything. Uh, yep, we just take the trickery. All right, so we're not going to count that as our fourth game. We are going to do one more uh, because that's such a corner case that it's just silly. So we will get a fifth game in here with this list. Uh, word to the wise, don't keep that hand. Uh, but also, if you can, fire off a duress against the Tabal's Trickery deck because that's how you're going to win. Um, oh, nice. Multiple choice. That's a card I want to play with. All right, last game of the video, everybody. Let's see if we can get another win. We are currently sitting at two and two, which is okay, actually. I think for for a deck like this, um, I wouldn't I wouldn't be too surprised, at, or I am a little surprised. I will say it, that good of a record because I wouldn't normally assume that. Uh, we'll keep this. It's a bit removal heavy, but we do have the Beanstalk Giants to ramp us, uh, and if we need to, we can fire off this Grim Tutor for a Nexus or something along those lines. Uh, worth noting, this does get lands, obviously. Um, this literally just pulls any card, uh, which is pretty useful in a, in a deck like this. Uh, if this is a creature deck, that Heartless Act is going to come in handy. Um, but it looks like they are starting off slightly slower. Uh, so let's fire off Duress here. Interesting. Okay, so we definitely take the Shadow Sphere. Uh, bit of a scary hand, I'll be honest. Uh, the, the Righteous Valkyrie is scary. All of these are pretty scary. Uh, so we do have to play smart here. Um, the play is definitely Beanstalk Giant first. Uh, and we'll just get a green source here. All right. Um, so next turn we play land, we beanstalk giant, leaving up heartless act. Uh, and then we just have big old things to, to follow up with. Um, and we can get rid of this Valkyrie, uh, which I assume is going to be their first play. It might be veto, um, but I would think righteous Valkyrie is kind of the first way to go. Just kind of makes the most sense. Um, and again, worth noting, we can wait on this Grim Tutor and fire it off when we really need to. We don't have to right now. We're not in a rush. Uh, if we need an answer to a creature, we can go find it with that Grim Tutor and then be set. Um, or find a Binding, which honestly is like a very solid answer for a lot of this. Uh, yeah, okay, so we Beanstalk Giant. Uh, we'll get a green source. And... We'll go ahead and kill that Righteous Valkyrie. So crucially, next turn, they're probably going to play Veto or some other threat, uh, in which case we can Heartless Act plus Grim Tutor if we would like, uh, because we do have the, the three black to be able to do so. Um, Massacre Worm is also viable now as just its own play, uh, given that we have that three black. It's very crucial to get three black in this list uh, for that reason. So we'll see how it goes. All right. Very cool. Uh, uh, let's cultivate first. We'll get a green and a black. Throw the black down. Uh, we actually still just get to play the green. Uh, and then here, we're just going to... So they do get the aura, whatever, the Righteous Valkyrie trigger in there, uh, which isn't great for us, but uh, I think it'll be okay. We could have honestly waited. Maybe that was a better play. Oh, well. Just so they didn't get to do this, uh, but it's fine. There's a binding, uh, so that's kind of a clean answer here. Let's do this. Let's binding the, uh, the thing. I am going to Grim Tutor here. I think that's just the right play. Uh, the question is, what do we need? And I really don't know. <laughs> uh, Masker Worm is good, but not the problem solver. The troll is like, okay, but not great. The world tree uh, is an option. Uh, what else could be good? Binding isn't terrible. I think it's just binding, honestly. We just need to have answers here. Uh, given that if they get one more land, they get the Angel of Destiny out, which is just absolutely terrifying. Uh, I think that that's safe. We do just have a giant 8-8 to be able to deal with the, the veto, so I'm not like terribly worried about, about that. 
They attack for one, sure. Uh, get a forest here, and we're deck thinning as we do all of this, obviously. So what that means for us is just that regardless of what happens, we have a much stronger likelihood of getting the stuff that we need. We can wait on the, the castle here uh, until we know what our life total is going to be at the end of the turn and then draw a card if we need. Uh, we've got the giant 10 tens to play if we want it. I'm going to foretell a card. What would that be? I'm not sure. I'll be honest. I don't know. Um, all right. Pass. Probably just going to take one here. Sure. Okay. Any follow ups? I'm glad we took the binding. Uh, that Angel of Destiny is an absolute powerhouse. All right, let's draw a card. Let's see what we can get. A Solemn. Uh, Solemn's not amazing, but it isn't uh, bad either, I would say. Um, so, what's the best play? Um, I think we're going to take the opportunity to do this. I would love to get a basic land. We'll get a black source here. Uh, and we'll play out the Nexus. Now this is a more of a setup turn for sure, but this does provide us with a blocker for the veto regardless. they If they decide to kill that, we draw a card. Uh, and worst case scenario, we get hit with some damage, but it's not, it shouldn't at least be enough to kill us. So just worried about, you know, what they could have here. We'll see. Luminarch Aspirant, pretty good. Can they kill the Nexus? I hope not. Uh, because if we do get the World Tree, then we're a turn away, really, from being able to go crazy with it. Uh, I'm all too happy to block here. Not a problem with me. We draw a card off of that, which is great. Would love to take that action. And there's a Cultivate. Okay, Cultivate's not great for us, but that's fine. Interesting. Okay, so... This allows us to have five mana left over. Uh, we also can... Uh, that doesn't work, but... Okay. So we're going to Blood Chief's Thirst first. Get this veto out of here. We're going to play a Beanstalk Giant, which just demands an answer from them. They're not going to outclass it with the Aspirant anytime soon. So they do ab absolutely just have to be able to answer the Beanstalk Giant, which I'm sure they can do. Uh, at some point. Um, yep. And that isn't good for us, but that was like kind of okay. Uh, unfortunately, didn't get anything great there. Okay, so what's our play? We do this. I think we activate this just to spit out some extra creatures here. This is a very interesting game. Uh, oh, nice. Okay, so that is going to kill us at some point here. So we absolutely have to answer that. Yeah. But they're not going to attack. Ooh, there's the world tree. Okay, uh, that's really, really good. Um, let's cultivate. Let's do this. Activate. Not going to attack here. We just have to stay alive for a turn. If we can stay alive for a turn, guys, we can do this. Uh, we absolutely can do this. So we just have to hope they can't gain enough life to kill us. I think they would have played something else last turn if they could have. So I feel like we might be OK. I hope I'm not wrong. Um, Okay, Temple of Silence doesn't matter. It's a tapped land. That's good, if anything. Oh, this is stressful. <laughs> this is very stressful. We also have the double Nexus, so even if they deal with one of them, we still have a backup. Uh, they're just going to go to combat. Oh, they can give everything lifelink, though. Oh, but they're not. Okay, that's fine. Great. Perfect. Let's do it. We have to, we just have to go for it. Eh, okay. 
This is like so scary. I know like there's very little that a white black deck could do against us in this position, but I just never know. I'm dealing all of the damage here. And we did it. Oh, I'm so glad we played that last game, guys. We ended on a 3-2 record, and that was pretty solid. Like, that wasn't bad. Uh, for anybody looking for a very silly combo deck, this is perfect. Uh, I love it. It's a very fun list. I would play around with adding some different interaction spells, um, just in the simple case where, you know, they do have a bunch of creatures out and you really don't have a great way to deal with it. I understand why, again, having sweepers and and basically taking up that mana slot uh, is really a negative for this deck. You're trying to skip ahead to be able to play some bigger stuff. Uh, and so sweeping isn't necessarily what you want. That being said, I would kind of play around with it, maybe even fine tune the list uh, so that the creatures that you get kind of um, kill a, kill the opponent just enough to, to not necessarily need quite so many creatures in the list. Um, but I, I don't know. Play around with it. See what you guys come up with. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's been a really fun one. Uh, we will hopefully be back tomorrow with some more gameplay. I will be out of town just as a quick heads up uh, for just tomorrow. So if we miss it, I apologize. But uh, we're back. I love it. I love playing some, some awesome games and some awesome decks. And I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Please leave a like or a comment down below. And thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next gameplay video.